Hi beautiful people, welcome or welcome back to the channel. This is going to be a whatever pops up, whatever comes out reading for the collective, all star signs. Go ahead and take a deep breath with me. Inhale. And exhale. All right, I haven't been delivering messages because I've been kind of like in my own little world, dealing with my own stuff, you know. But uh, I'm back temporarily for a little bit. And I wanted to give you guys a reading, but I, again, don't have anything coming in intuitively. So I'm assuming that you guys have been doing okay or trying to. The moon card is here, so some of you may be dealing with some kind of, like, fears or doubts or insecurity, especially when it comes to, like, body, appearance, self-worth, things like that, okay? Just know that fear is an illusion is what I need to tell you. You are beautiful and perfect just the way that you are, period, okay? If nobody's told you today I love you, you are loved, period. Let's see, though, what's coming out for the collective. What do they need to know at this time, please? Spirit, come through and use me as the vessel. Ace of Cups. All right. So we're going to talk about love. We're going to talk about matters of the heart. I'm hearing that song. Let's talk about love, baby. That's not the song. Uh, let's talk about sex, baby. Let's talk about you and me. Let's talk about all the good things and the bad things that make me... Let's talk about sex. But well, we're going to talk about love. We're going to talk about your heart. If sex comes up, I'll talk about it, you know? I'm hearing don't be afraid of sex. Or don't be afraid of, like, being intimate. You could be in a current connection or something like that. I'm going to say that this is an 18-plus message. Let's see, though. Ace of Cups, Page of Cups, Knight of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles, King of Swords. I'm hearing I'm sorry for the way that I hurt you. I feel like you are accepting and forgiving people from the past and you're moving on beyond that. You're moving on past that. Interesting. I see that you could be dating multiple people at once or you're going to be dating multiple people at once in the near future here. There's someone here who's like secretly admiring you, but there's also like a couple people here who are apologizing to you. Someone feels like guilty. Someone's feeling their feelings now. That's what I'm getting. Somebody was like so against the feelings that they had for you. And I'm hearing that you could be a Virgo or an Aquarius or a Pisces. You don't have to be any of those signs, of course. I just throw out signs in case they matter. But I'm just seeing that somebody is like feeling the feelings now and you are just moving on past it. Like something doesn't bother you anymore or something doesn't affect you anymore. I'm hearing that quote, time heals all wounds, which like, yes and no because sometimes we do just need time and space and things to like play out for us to get the bigger picture for us to really understand but also time on its own isn't going to heal you healing yourself is going to heal you taking the necessary actions to change to heal to get better will heal you it's like you go to a doctor and the doctor tells you you need to start working out or you need to change up your diet and you don't listen. Well, then you don't get better. But if you do choose to change your diet, you do choose to focus on your health, you do choose to like put the phone down and get your 8 to 10 hours of rest and drink plenty of water and give yourself all these positive affirmations and you start to feel better and you start to like move forward and you start to see that life isn't as like daunting or haunting as it once was. I'm seeing you coming out of the dark. This is beautiful. But there's someone who's going into the dark now. Someone who was connected to you in the past who is no longer connected to you. I just see that they feel really bad and they're feeling their feelings now. Someone's crying. I'm also seeing that you maybe have done some crying recently, but just to help yourself like release and purge and let go. I always encourage people to cry, especially when you feel the feeling. If you feel it bubbling up, let yourself cry. I don't care if you're out in public. I don't care where you are cry if they want to judge you they need to judge themselves because i guarantee you these people don't feel their feelings and they don't deal with their own emotions they project onto other people but you don't want to do that you want to understand your emotions you want to understand yourself and you do now or you are going to you're on the right path knight of pentacles always shows up for me when you're on the right path okay everything is happening the way that it's supposed to be happening and everything is happening according to plan okay we're seeing the ten of pentacles and the king of swords so some of you are going to be coming into a lot of money, or you already are making good money. I'm seeing that there could be a raise or a promotion for you at work. 
I'm also seeing a long-term manifestation or a long-term relationship manifesting. Some of you have been manifesting like something long-term, like a counterpart type energy, and they're going to be coming into your life. Okay, or they're already in your life and you're going to be taking things to the next level. The Ten of Pentacles to me is like an addition. So you could be adding on to your home. You could be moving in with somebody. You could be getting a pet with somebody. You could be having a child with somebody. You could be making the relationship official, so on and so forth. I'm also seeing for some of you, you're going to be making new friends or you're going to be like getting closer to the current friends that you have. There's a lot of friendship, dating, and confirmation that you are on the right path, as well as money coming in. I'm hearing money is coming in in abundance. Keep doing what you're doing. They want you to keep your integrity. I'm hearing you, you speak with integrity and grace, or you handle things with integrity and grace. You're very compassionate. And this is bringing you a lot of money, or this is bringing you a lot of wealth. For some of you, you're going to be very wealthy in this lifetime like very wealthy, spiritually wealthy, as well as like resources, material, material items. I know that that's not really important to all of you, but I do see that, that there's a wealth manifesting, that you're attracting new love and you're attracting wealth, abundance, a pay raise, a promotion, growth in your career, expansion in your wallet, your, your pockets are getting bigger. That's what I'm hearing. I'm also being drawn to tell you to put your money up. So some of you may be saving money or you're trying to like manifest more money. Whatever you have in cash, put it up in a high place, in like a high cabinet on top of your refrigerator, as high as you can. Just put it up there, leave it. It'll grow. If you want something to grow, put it up. Same thing with your hair. Wear your hair in a ponytail, wear your hair in like a high bun. If this applies, your hair will grow. Whatever you want to grow, put it up. Okay. Tell me about this new love, please. Let's use a different deck. Let me get a drink of tea. There's a new love here. And I'm seeing that you're loving yourself more too. You're just like, I love me. I love hanging out with me. I love being around me. This page of cups could just be you apologizing to your younger self or you apologizing to a past version of you where you didn't love yourself, where you didn't respect yourself, where you were kind of like mean and you did let the intrusive thoughts kind of control you. So this could be what the apology is about, but I'm just seeing that there is someone who wants to apologize or there is somebody who is going to apologize. I was hearing, I'm sorry for the way that I neglected you or I'm sorry for the way that I hurt you. Okay, but let's see about the new love. Tell me about the new love. What is this? Four of cups in the reverse. And the nine of cups. They said upright on that one. Okay. So I'm seeing this new love is going to be everything that you wanted. This new love is going to be everything that you've wished for, everything that you've dreamed of. You may be having dreams of falling in love or dreams of a specific person. For some of you, your spirit team shows you who your next person is going to be or who your lover is going to be or something like that. You've seen dreams of your person or you're going to get a dream of who you are going to be in love with. I have a dream catcher. So maybe you have a dream catcher. I'm just getting something about, like, this person's getting caught in your dreams. Someone's thinking about you. So this person already knows you, or... I don't know, they're just having dreams of you or something like that. I'm hearing you're all I ever wanted. Is this person coming into your life, or this person you're currently connected to, is all you've ever wanted. There's a lot of pros here. The pros outweigh the cons is what I'm getting. And you feel like you can let yourself be open and vulnerable with this person. And this person feels the same way with you. There's a lot of cups here. And the four of cups is in the reverse. So like, it's never boring with you. And they also feel like it's safe and they're okay to be vulnerable and be around you and let their emotions out. Like they can cry in front of you. You can cry in front of them. You guys can just talk about your emotions. I love this. This is so emotionally mature. Oh my god, it's amazing. No wonder this person is apologizing because like of your emotional maturity. They want someone like you, but they cannot have you. They just cannot. Spirit said no. Spirit said no. It's why it didn't work before and it'll never work. But now this person's going into the darkness to find out what they really want out of love to really learn how to accept themselves and to feel their feelings. The more you run away from things in life, the more that they catch up to you and the harder it is to overcome it when it catches up to you. I'm just going to be really honest with you because I get so sick and tired of doing these readings where I'm channeling people who feel bad for hurting people or feel bad for manipulating other people's emotions or feel bad for not expressing their emotions. Like, you get one life to live. You know what I'm saying? Feel your feelings. The emotions that you have have data, have information. Most of the time, when we need to figure things out, we need to express our emotions, all of them, whatever we're feeling. If it's anger, that's valid too. Get it out some way, working out, go for a run. 
If it's sadness, cry. Take a nap. Take a nice warm shower. You know what I'm saying, though? Feel your feelings. I'm just getting this energy of people running away from their feelings and then being, like, all upset and angry and even more emotional when the emotions catch up to them, when things do rise back up to the surface, because whatever you're pushing down will always come back up. What comes down must come up, and what goes down, what goes up must come down, right? That's the law. That's what I'm hearing. So I am seeing new love is manifesting into your life, and it's going to be very emotionally mature, very emotionally available. We're going to tap into this page of cups energy now and see. I also see that you could be dating a bunch of different people and like learning how to be more emotionally available and learning how to um, just kind of open up to people, see what you want out of dating. For some of you, you're in this phase of like learning what you want, so you need to date a bunch of people. You need to kiss a bunch of frogs before you find your prince or princess. You know what I'm saying? There is this feeling surrounding love where it's like, when you know, you know, but you won't know unless you get to know or unless you try. Things don't just come to us. Like things do not just show up at our doorstep. They do sometimes and it's possible. Miracles happen every single day. But I guarantee you those miracles happen because the, those people were like keeping up the positive narrative. They were manifesting their own life. They were creating the reality that they wanted. They were not sitting in home. They were not sitting around sulking. They were not emotionally manipulative. They were not casting judgment and negativity onto other people. Like, you know what I'm saying? Things don't just fall into our laps like that unless we've done the work. But I do see that love is naturally flowing towards you. People are more interested in getting to know you now. And I just keep hearing Virgo. So Virgo, people are more interested in getting to know you. But in general, people are more interested in getting to know you guys collectively. They like when you get all like dressed up or they like when you get dressed or put on your face or do your hair, regardless of your gender. They just like it when you put in effort. The universe likes when you put in effort. And I feel like you like when you put in effort too. So there's something about putting in effort to get what you want out of love and it will happen. Okay. Trust and believe that what you are manifesting in love is going to happen and it is going to be worth waiting for. You're going to get everything you wanted and more. Someone's going to exceed your expectations. Okay. Let's talk about the Page of Cups now for the collective. We're seeing the Ace of Pentacles, 1225. Someone's going to reach out to you on Christmas. Oh my goodness. Okay. For some of you, someone's going to reach out to you 1225 on Christmas with this like apology or this like... I know how I feel about you or I, I, something. I don't know how to explain that, but I feel like it's not worth your time. I just don't love the energy that I'm picking up on here. I'm also seeing that you guys could be making new friends, okay? Maybe even asking for friendship, maybe even asking for companions, for um, someone to hang out with, someone to do something with, and I see that that is coming in. I'm also seeing you gaining a lot of attention online, potentially, for some of you. Like, people are watching your content, people are watching what you're posting, all right? I'm also seeing with this Page of Swords, there's someone else connected to this Page of Cups. So I'm getting that this person who's like wanting to come back into your life or wanting to just apologize, make amends or whatever, like they want commitment with you. They want to be in your life again long term, no matter what that looks like, whether it is romantic, whether it's just friends, whatever. But I'm getting that there's somebody connected to them who's like watching this person offer this to you. And they're pissed about it. The Page of Swords is like, they have a sword, right? They're ready to fight because this person wants to offer you love or commitment or whatever. It's giving like karmic relationships. So what I'm getting here is that however this person treated you, this is how they now feel in their current connection. Sometimes the grass is not always greener on the other side is what I'm hearing. And you know that. I'm hearing you knew that. But this person didn't. This person wanted to keep their options open. And this person thought that you would always be waiting for them. I'm getting a lot of Scorpio energy. Doesn't have to be, though. But this person is definitely, like, they were waiting on you. And they know that you are moving on beyond them, past them. Attracting new love. Attracting love of self. Attracting all of your wishes. Getting better. And they want to be a part of it. Of course they want to be a part of the ride. This person always cared about you. This person always had feelings for you, but they suppressed them. And now the feelings are coming back up because you no longer care. That happens. A lot of things do begin to manifest in life when we no longer care about it or when we stop looking for it. Love 
or any other kind of manifestation really when you stop looking when you stop caring and you stop feeling like you need it and you're able to provide it for yourself that's when it manifests so i'm getting that you do give yourself love now you do give yourself emotional fulfillment you are emotionally balanced this is going to attract more people who are emotionally balanced as well you're attracting like a lot of potential suitors like you're you're attracting a lot of potential mates counterparts that's why i feel like you're being guided to date around to shop around to explore but yeah there's some kind of like karma playing out here with this page of cups page of swords ace of pentacles right they know your worth now but you are an empress or an emperor and they are a page just so you know just pointing that out okay tell me about the knight of pentacles why is the knight of pentacles showing up here for the collective king of pentacles I'm hearing onward and upward. You're on to bigger and better things. You're expanding. Your pockets are getting bigger. Your mindset's getting bigger. There's a lot of comfort and security manifesting into your life right now. This is beautiful energy manifesting or this is beautiful energy that's kind of just like transforming. You have been transforming. I'm getting something about growing pains. What you've been through recently, just chalk it up as growing pains because you're going to be coming out as very successful very abundant, very happy, very prosperous, and a much less confusion, especially about your path forward. There's something happening, whether it be now or in the near future here, where you just like understand more about like your purpose, your path, your mission, your destiny, right? And you're just accepting it now and you're just following it now. There's less confusion for you or there's going to be, especially about your career and what you're supposed to be doing here on this earth. For a lot of you, I feel like your purpose here is to just be the light. Some of you are like lighthouses I'm getting. You provide a lot of light and a lot of hope and a lot of optimism for people. And that's all you need to do. Your life purpose is just live in your truth. And to feel your feelings. And to experience life as it comes at you. I'm seeing a lot of growth in your mindset and a lot of growth in your character here. Just a lot of growth in general your heart is expanding and your mind is expanding and your pockets are expanding there's a lot of expansion things are getting bigger you've you're seeing the bigger picture now is what i'm hearing clarifying the ten of pentacles we have the ten of cups so i'm getting that you're going to get to go home and see family or you're going to like be creating a family or adding on to a family for some of you but 10 10 is showing up which is such a beautiful energy i'm hearing you will never experience karma like you did before or you will never experience those growing pains again something like that okay i'm hearing skip to the good part in december you're going to get to skip to the good part there's a lot of good a lot of like blessings and joy manifesting into your life this december which is so beautiful okay i'm also seeing like family getting along getting together with family hanging out with your family or attracting like people who feel like family like i said it could be friends or it could just be like people you're meeting and you feel this like soul connection to right and you're going to get to know them and it's going to happen naturally it's going to occur naturally over time right i'm just getting like some things take time okay we're seeing the seven of wands here in the reverse and the ten of cups so I'm getting that you're going to be like healing things with a family or healing things with yourself or forgiving someone here. Someone really does just want your forgiveness. They don't want to fight anymore. They don't want you to be guarded. They just want to be like around you. They just want your forgiveness. They just want to feel seen, heard, and accepted by you. And that'll like clear them for some reason. Someone really looks up to you. This could be anybody, but I'm getting that this, this someone really looks up to you. And they were very guarded before, but they're trying to let their walls down or they're trying to like open up to you. So they're hoping that you'll do the same. I'm also hearing that you have nothing to fear in your career. You have nothing to fear moving forward. You are safe, loved, and protected. And there's like a lot of money coming your way. A lot of like abundance, a lot of materials, a lot of resources. Whatever you've been manifesting, Spirit is going to make sure that you have the resources necessary to create, to keep creating. Okay. Let's move on to the King of Swords for the collective. Why is the King of Swords here? Eight of Pentacles. And the King of Cups. 
overall energy for you this month is the three of pentacles so things are working out things are working in your favor things are coming back into balance this month this is really good i'm hearing that you're a jack of all trades in this card there's a artist there's someone who's like instructing or directing and then there's a model so i'm getting that you have the ability to do everything or the ability to do a bunch of different things and you do many things very well i'm getting something about your career okay you could be expanding your career or changing up your career for some of you i'm getting something about like the content that you create if this applies you're going to be switching up the kind of content that you create people just want to hear you speak people just want to see you on screen people just want to hear you and your perspective and your ideas you can do that in any way whether it be art in the form of like painting or drawing or makeup or like this tarot reading is an art or you're directing people or guiding people or helping people behind the scenes or you're like the face of something you're the image behind something i'm getting that you stand for good or you stand for justice and people are supporting that i'm getting you being like raised up spirits raising you up you're being raised this is beautiful energy eight of pentacles king of cups and the king of swords you're going to get a break here you're going to get this period to like take a break to chill out to relax to have fun with friends to date around to explore maybe go shopping and then you're going to get right back to work at some point i see that but this break is going to be very good for you you're going to fall deeper in love with what you do or you're going to fall deeper in love with someone or deeper in love with something here your heart is expanding okay i'm hearing you're winning you've won something or you're going to win something by the end of the month you're a winner okay let's pull some time frame cards that could be significant for you in december we're seeing soon so something's going down soon which is like next 72 hours okay some time frame cards we are seeing unexpectedly yeah this new counterpart or this new love is coming in unexpectedly here when you stop looking or when you stop needing it or something like that and we're seeing december good to see this reading is playing out in december and last one nope or last two okay soon next 48 hours something is happening in the next 48 hours something from this reading is playing out in the next 48 hours from whenever you're watching it okay uh, we're seeing in the morning so something unexpectedly in the morning somebody could be reaching out to you contacting you or there could be something else that happens unexpectedly in the morning and then we're also seeing september being significant as well so you could have a september birthday or something about september is significant as well you'll know more about what those mean to you probably if not let them go let's pull a romance angel oracle card and we'll wrap this up i have not been like filming and posting because everything that i film just does not feel good enough but I'm going to post this one too. If it resonates, let me know. If it doesn't, that's okay too. Romance Angel Oracle card for the collective for December. Reconciliation. Someone from your past is returning to your life. Yep. We already saw that though. It's someone playing out their karmic cycle. It's someone playing out like their karma, but you're already past it is what I'm getting here. Unless you want someone back from your past, which I mean, hey, more power to you. You have free will. We are seeing attraction though. I do feel like you're attracting new love, new partners, new dating, new forms of love, right? If you're currently in a relationship with somebody, I feel like you guys are attracting like more levels of commitment, a higher level of commitment. Like I said, whether that be moving in together, getting a pet, getting a, a new addition to the house or anything, making it official, something like that, getting engaged. I don't know. But attraction says you attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. You attract everything in general by enjoying the moment fully. And then we're seeing a soulmate. Your forever person is manifesting into your life. For some of you this December. For others of you, you will be with your forever person. I'm getting next year. Okay. But soulmate. Yes, this is your soulmate. So someone you're currently with, yes, this is your soulmate. Okay. Hope that this helped. Sending you love always. Take care of your beautiful self. Stay hydrated. And I will see you next time.